Yo, what's going on homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video and in today's video we're diving into the treasure map for the 5 plus Sulong Beppo against Luffy and in today's video we're utilizing the One Piece Day Legends but we are not using the treasure map batch of Lukaku as well as the Seraphim and Stuffy, Stussy. So if you guys did some summons over on the, um, what's it called banner? The... The One Piece Day banners for Luffy vs Kaido and Blackbeard vs Law, and you managed to pick up especially Blackbeard vs Law and Luffy vs Kaido, you're in for a good time because those two units are very, very good for the final boss and the mini and the intrusion fight without the treasure map batch. These particular teams, namely the final boss and the intrusion, is probably pretty much why you guys are here. These particular teams should work all the way up to the 10 million points, and once you sort of get that, you can kind of dip out because this treasure map does seem. Very oddly designed. And now we have put out our no new batch, no new Yellow Legends, no One Piece Day Legend video. Make sure you go check out that if you guys are missing, say, Blackbeard vs. Law and Luffy vs. Kaido. Uh, those teams should be able to help you out over there. But for the um, no treasure map batch teams, the intrusion fight's going to look a little bit like this. Now, I don't actually need this support, um, but we do want to bring a Luchikaku friend captain. For the intrusion, having... Kaido helps out drastically on turn two, and having Blackbeard is just amazing as a straight-up captain option. As uh, the starting captain for the intrusion fights, you do want to start with uh, Luchi because you want to swap into Kaku. That's that's going to be that that's definitely going to be the play. Luchi's also going to give you an attack buff when you get to turn two. But you guys will see once we get there. That's the team. Those are the supports. Let's do I actually have enough to spare? Yes, I do. Let's dive in. Big upside to Luchi and Kaku is they are going to give you an attack or an orb buff if you guys have, um, if the enemy puts up a damage reduction or threshold. But as I mentioned, if you guys have Kaido, he is going to help out an absolute ton in this particular fight. Namely because he's basically recommended for turn 2. On turn 2, there is a tandem or barrier, plus the enemy puts up 6 turns of damage reduction and threshold. Now this is where Luchi's going to trigger. Luchi's going to apply the, um three turns of an attack buff because the enemy puts up the damage reduction and the threshold we are going to get one turn of special reverse now remember oh you need the super swap stump you absolute donkey oh you are such a fool you are such a fool that's okay that's all right look it is what it is we, we gotta move oh you want to start as kaku man oh, that's so annoying okay that's all right though i think we can still get it sort of done maybe maybe yeah, start as Kaku, because that way you guys will get... Ah, that way you guys will start with the with the, with the the Super Swap. The Super Swap, you, you need the Super Swap, because you are going to get one turn of Special Rewind on the final stage. Um, now you have a very annoying uh, barrier to deal with here. We are going to get nice and low, thanks to um, Blackbeard. And once we do that, we should, should be able to just kill here. Alright, I don't actually know how this is going to go, because we don't have the one turn of Special Rewind. Oh, that's so annoying. So ideally, you would have... And now my, my game card's not working. Ideally, you would have the, the Super Swap available to you guys right now. Um, but, unfortunately, we do not. So that's going to be a bit of a bummer. We have an attack down below a certain chain and all this fun stuff. So, um, we're going to just try and pass the turn here. You guys would... I should have swapped. Why didn't I swap? Stump, what are you doing, man? Ideally, you would super swap there. You get the one turn of cooldown and you're good to go. You can start with... Um, uh, you, yeah, you just have to start... Okay, well, that was kind of good. Lucky we didn't swap because he put up threshold. Um, but you, you pretty much have to start as Kaku. Okay. That's my bad. I apologize. At the end of the day, though, it does seem like it's not a huge issue. Because we have now an orb buff if you pass a turn. And Blackbeard's going to give us a full bottle of orbs. And with that, we should be able to kill. Okay, beautiful. So, it ended up working out. But, like I said, if you guys start with loot, uh, with Kaku, start with Kaku. That is, then, that is therefore, going to um, give you the Super Swap. And then that way, you can use the Super Swap to get one turn of Special Reverse on the final stage. On the final stage, you, you can't use Special Cooldown Specials. Um, be very, very mindful of that. Because if you do, uh, your the enemy is going to activate and interrupt. So 
very, very important that you have that super swap available to you. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to fast forward to the end. And I'll see you guys once we get to the mini bosses. All right, so I fat fingered and here we are against Zoro. So I guess we're going to take on Zoro as a mini boss fight. For the mini boss fight for Zoro, we're actually going to be utilizing Nami as our captain. And we're going to bring a friend captain, Nami. Running um, double Nami just allows you guys to get um, access to paralysis removal. And then if you run two of them, you don't have to really worry about the captain swap all that much. Because you're still going to have a friend captain at your disposal. And that way you're going to... Um, that way you're going to... I uh, removed the paralysis, which is really, really nice. For this particular team as well, we have Brooke for wave clearing, but Nami's also a really, really good wave clearer. On top of that, she can actually remove the damage reduction for the final stage. So if you just bring like one other uh, wave clearer, you're also going to um, get um, wave clearing and damage reduction. So it works out really, really nicely. Alright, so we're going to get swapped into Luffy. Ideally, you want to use the Luffy special on turn um, turn 2. But I just put him here basically because he's just a very, very good captain. Uh, if you guys use the Law special though, Law is basically going to set defense to 0. And then you can use one of the Namis to uh, remove the damage reduction. Once you guys have done that, you have the orb boost from Law. You have um, the attack boost from Luffy. You could run, you could pop uh, Sanji on turn 2 as well. Uh, potato, potato though, really, because like Sanji's going to be an attack booster if you don't. Um, but you're going to be in for a fine time, so it works out quite nicely. Law is only going to buff striker characters though, so just be mindful of that. You do have four of them, I believe. Um, in No, you have three of them, so you're going to get some nice stuff there. But if you guys are needing more damage, you can just use Sanji and Luffy to uh, bink an attack boost and an orb boost on turn three, carry it into the final stage, and then just be, uh, be, uh, be big chillin'. Um, moving on to, let's go here. Let's move on to the final boss now. I did want to sort of cut until the final boss, but like I said, I did fat finger and I went the wrong way. So now we just have to sit through all of this. So let me know how your treasure map grind is going in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys did some pulls, let me know. If you guys didn't summon using some of the, um, One Piece Day Legends, let me know. And if you guys have nothing at all, hopefully that other video helped you guys out. A great deal as well. Oh my god, just get me to the boss fight, bro. Come on. Man, this treasure map is like bang your head against the wall stuff. Tell you what. Jeez Louise. All right, here we go. Up against the, the, the straw hats, we're going to start off with Nami. And for this fight, thank god, we have six plus a Kainu. Uh, for my no new character video, we didn't actually have a Kainu at our disposal. Because we were utilizing him on one of the final teams. I did tweak the team a little bit. I kind of just threw on like um, Van Ogger. I threw on Kaido. And I just threw on any 1.25 booster. Just to like make the points a little bit higher here. Basically if you have 6 plus a Kainu. You're, you just win this this fight. You just It's, it's over. We're going to be utilizing um, the Zoro wave clearing mechanic. That way we have another strength unit as well. Hallelujah. But um. Having a Kainu for the final stage literally takes care of everything. He sets defense to zero, he removes despair, and he removes the barrier. Um, there is resilience as well, which he applies um, a uh, sorry end of turn damage. Is, bro, he literally does everything for this fight, dude. Like, he literally does everything. So, just pop him. You're going to be fine. You don't need one of every type on the team. I feel like that's why they didn't boost any strength characters, because they want you to run one of every type. So, he gets, like, his conditional buff and all that craziness as well. But don't stress... Um, you can just basically use him and you'll you'll be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Moving on to the second fight now. We are going to come up against Frankie. For Frankie, we're using Nami Karina for this fight. We're going to use Nami Karina, but we're also going to start with the opposites. One Karina and one Nami. This is what makes Nami Karina so good in every single treasure map. You have access to two very, very powerful specials that can bypass a lot of mechanics that's always boosted in treasure map. Whether you're using them on a mini boss fight or whether you're using them as the hybrid option for... The final boss fight, they are going to have value every single treasure map. This particular Luchikaku unit has nothing on um, Nami Karina. I, I want to stress that so much to players. I don't know why I didn't just use the Vista special there, but it is what it is. Um, I want to stress that to players because the Luchikaku is just purely designed for speed, where Nami Karina is going to help out your account in actually beating the treasure map. Like, mini bosses can be beaten with any team, right? It's all about sort of how fast you can do them. Um, when it comes to the final boss and having something like Nami Karina at your disposal, just makes life, like, so much nicer. Like, 
I just cannot stress that enough. Now, we do get to spared here, but I do think we have um, the Rayleigh support to help us out with that. We're going to utilize the special of um, Nami to remove the barrier. We have Karina to give us cooldowns. That way, you also get an attack and an orb buff. You can also run another support. Um, I believe Conjuro works on, um, on Hiyori. And that way, you can just get around the Despair without having to use her special. Uh, that way, you just bypass all the Despair. But if you do use the um, double special of Hiyori, depending on which one you have, I believe this is the 5-star, um, you can get bigger buffs. But we want to use the 5-plus over on a different team. So she's going to be great at removing... Yes, double drop. We... we um, She's going to be great over here just for more points. At the end of the day, if you are running these teams, ideally you want to get to the 10 million points as quickly as possible. And finding a nice balance between speed teams and still having point boosters on your runs is going to make your life a lot easier. For the uh, Sanji fight, this is where we're actually going to run double um, Hiori. It actually just works a lot faster. So I'm going to flip this around. In my prep video, I did have um, Yamato as captain. But like, Yamato is literally just here for points, man. Like, she's... She's literally not doing anything, and by the time you hit 10 million points, you're probably going to stop playing the game, and you don't need the damage anyway. So, um, you could tweak this team later down the line, maybe run something like, um, uh, I don't know, Utar or, or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. But running uh, Hiyori as captain is great, because she removes the bind. But, if you guys don't have, um, if you guys don't have, what's his name, Burgess for this fight, oh, you're not killing? That's crazy. All right, well, Daifuku's a rip. I thought Daifuku would be a play there, but I guess not. I wanted to use Vista, man, but, like, unfortunately, like, Vista's just not getting boosted. So, I guess you can just replace Daifuku on this team with another wave crew. Man, that sucks. All right, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. You could run, like, Zoro, I believe, and then you could probably run, like, probably Izo Kiko over here. That, that's definitely going to work, too. But the really, realistically, when you get to the final stage, this is where you want to use the special of um, Arlong. That's going to give you a threshold. It's also going to remove the stun. And then if you use the Luffy special here as well, um, you are going to get a full board of recovery orbs. Once you do that, you can use the Hiyori specials. They're going to give you attack boosting, chain boosting, all of that fun stuff. We do have double damage taken, um, but it's not going to matter that much purely because of that threshold that Arlong gives. Whilst Arlong's not getting a massive buff under this team, he's not even boosted at all. He just does so much for the stun, setting defense to zero, and giving us threshold that it helps out a lot. Just to tweak this team, just bring a different wave clear on. And that's just going to make your runs faster. Um, unfortunately, Daifuku just didn't work. Maybe throw, like, Zoro and uh, Izokiku over here for some more damage. But, like, the chain boost is nice, too. So, I don't know. You, you, guys, you guys will work it out. You guys will work it out. But the real reason we're here is for the final boss fight. Now, something that we noticed at the final boss fight is that there is Special Bind for seven turns. Yeah. Woo! Seven turns. Super annoying. Um, the reason it's super annoying <laughs> is because... There's no unit that removes 7 turns of Special Mind. Um, even the Seraphim only removes 6. So, I did tweak this team. Like I said in the other video, there was a short that I put out um, that had to tweak this because we didn't want to bring Ryuguku or Green Bull. So, that way we could kill the back units on um, the final stage. Now, if you guys have um, the right supports, you could run something like this for this Blackbeard team. However, now that we know that you need Special Mind removal, you're going to have to move that Cornelius support off and find a way to bring that Marco and Vista. I'd probably upload like a separate run with that particular team. But for now, we're going to utilize this particular team. We're going to use a Luchikaku as a friend captain. And I believe we're going to bring... Who do we want to start as? I think we need to start as Luchi and switch into Kaku. We do need to drop defense on turn two. So, hang on, let me just make sure that characters get their super swap charge. Because we already made that mistake once this particular video. I don't want to have to make it again. So, on turn two, uh, strike, I can see strike is, is driven. Yeah, fighter driven get all the good stuff. Um, yeah, we have to drop defense on turn two. So, we, we do want to start as, as uh, Luchi, swap into Kaku, and that should be, emphasis on the word fucking should, that should be the way to play. Um, this treasure map, man, is, is, is crazy. So, we're going to start as Car uh, Luchi. Head over here. And like I said, the only addition to this team is we brought in Ryuguku. Um, if you guys want, you could probably run Kaido, like I said. Run some supports for the bind. Um, or, you could just do what I'm doing here and just, just screw the bind. And just focus all your damage on 
uh, Blackbeard and uh, Luchikaku. That's that's basically my plan here. That's what I'm going for. Anyway, um, so let's kill these first two turtles and let's just let's just honestly pray, man. <laughs> let's just pray. You do want to try and keep an orb on? Oh, actually, no. You're gonna get an orb with Riguku. I believe I did the same thing last time. So. The Marco Vista support should remove two turns of special one on everyone. Yes. It is a typo in game. It does remove two turns on everyone. As you guys can see there. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do this. That's going to give us a full board of orbs. Very, very nice. Then we can switch with these guys. That's going to do damage. And then we're going to use their special. And that should kill the back units. Perfect so far. Everything is going swimmingly. Now, we do actually want to... Why can't I use your ability? Uh, okay, we, are we below 50% HP? We do want to use this special. So now we can extend the chain lock. And if you want to, you could pop the verse ability of Blackbeard. Now, we're going to save the verse ability of Blackbeard because I believe we get three turns of a very low attack down. And with Blackbeard, he'll actually increase that to a... What does he increase it to? He's going to increase that to a 3.5, I believe. Now, we get um, damage reduction and threshold. That should get reduced by 70%. Love to see that for us. Then we're going to activate the verse ability of Blackbeard. That's always fun. Then we can use the Blackbeard special. That's going to increase the attack boost. And then Ryuguku should kill the back units. It does zero damage. What? All the damage hits Luffy. Am I missing something? Are we meant to delay them? I'm confused. Alright, so we're back in the same situation, and we're moving into the final stage. Um, I managed to clear with my boosted team, but I'm still very unsure what's going on. So, the enemy has damage limiter of 3 million damage. If we use the Blackbeard special first to remove the territory, maybe we just do too much damage. So, what happens if we just do this? Alright, so if we use Green Bull first, before the Blackbeard territory will actually kill. Maybe the territory has some sort of effect on the abilities of Green Bull. Maybe it just, he does too much damage. Like, I, I honestly don't exactly know what the problem is. But as you can see, if you use Green Bull first, it is going to work. Very odd, but hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, if you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Oh. Love!